Welcome to Chronicles of a Hobo. My name's Abigail. I'm living in my car. It's been about two weeks now, uh, and I needed something to kind of break the monotony of it, um, break the pattern of nothing. Uh, so I figured I was going to start doing these little short daily vlogs um, and just kind of talk about my life and uh, the things that I'm trying to improve and um, just kind of what's happening and where where I'm at and what, you know, um, just kind of give y'all an insight into what it's like. Um, I'll probably post a video of my morning routine uh, at some point and just kind of give y'all a little insider view of kind of what it's like to to not really have much to live in your car um that being said i do have a lot i have a car i have a phone that i can record this on i have phone service to upload this video um i have a nice little bed here i have a sleeping bag because it was just winter and it's still freezing every now and then um i have pillows galore down here and on the floor i have duffel bags on either side to kind of fill that space and it's also storage um, and I stuff the rest of it with more pillows. I have a lot of pillows. Um, so it's very plush and comfortable back there and uh, warm when it needs to be. And if not, I can just sleep on top of the sleeping bag and it stays kind of neutral. I keep all the windows cracked um, just enough for airflow so it doesn't smell bad in here and it doesn't, you know, uh, get too hot. Um, and it just kind of, you know, you get fresh air the whole time. I have most of my stuff in my trunk, uh, like I, my shoes. I really try to, to live normally or to look normal. So I, I change my clothes and my shoes and I have my Nikes right here. And my Adidas slides are what I'm kind of wearing right now. Um, I have some food that I keep in the car just so I can eat whenever I really want to and I don't always have to pay for fast food. Fast food gets really expensive really fast and I also work at a restaurant so I use the employee discount when I'm on the days that I work to get food that I can store and keep eating because um, believe it or not you don't really burn that many calories when you're staying in your car in, 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 in like a my back seat is probably six square feet in total um, and I'm six feet tall it's really not easy. I really am six feet tall, so it's really not easy. Um, I guess I, I got used to sleeping curled up. It took a little while, a few days um, of, of dozing off and waking back up and dozing off and waking back up. Um, and now I'm just kind of used to it. I, I just sleep. <laughs> um, I get my full eight hours. I've always been like that. I I need my eight hours sleep otherwise I'm not going to be functional like last night I it froze and it was just too cold so I stayed at a friend's house and um, I just couldn't sleep I don't know I, I was almost too comfortable the couch was like really soft and like stretching out was weird and I don't know I'm used to curling up now and just I'm used to what I do with every day um, so yeah, I don't know. This was kind of just a short intro into what I'm going to be showing y'all. And I guess tomorrow I'm probably going to show you my morning routine. Um, the way that I kind of clean up and get ready for the day. And the way that I, I change my clothes and how I store my clothes and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I look forward to giving y'all an insider's view into a hobo's life. Bye.